to make a man that is not ready for marriage ready it shock you a lot of women are going to be looking at me right now what is blessing talking about you cannot make a man that is not ready ready yes you can my darling my name is okoro blessing in kiroka and i'm popularly known as blessing ceo africa certified relationship and mental expert i know most of you are actually grumbling right now you are eager you are anxious i want to hear what blessing has to say i heard that they said you cannot make a man ready for marriage yes you can make a man ready for marriage a lot of men just need reasons why they should get married. There are some men that cannot make decisions by themselves, except you push them. There are some men that are indecisive. There are some men that don't know what they want. All they need is a powerful reason to be able to push. Exactly. I'm going to teach you that one secret that makes a man ready for marriage. This thing called readiness, when people are ready, it simply means they have decided, they have made up their mind. And people cannot be ready without a reason. Before people say they want to get married to you, they have different reasons why they want to get married. A lot of men don't have reasons for getting married. Yes, they are financially capable, they are okay, they are comfortable, but they've not found that strong reason to want to get married. And it's a woman that would give a man a good reason to want to get married. Yes. Remember I said some men are indecisive. It could be from society. It could be from their upbringing. It could be from their peers. Yes, a lot of men are indecisive. The only way they can make decisions is except you give them reason and you give them a push. And that is what many of you women do not do in a relationship. Giving people reason and giving people push is different from being desperate. A lot of you are forcing men to marry you. You are just being desperate. You are going diabolical. You are forceful. You are using pregnancy to trap him. That's not a reason. That's not a reason. I'm going to teach you how to make a man get married to you. How to make a man that is not even thinking about marriage start to think about marriage. Yes, before people say they want to get married, they've thought about it and they've seen the reason why I need to get married. These days, a lot of men used to get married far back then because of children. When the society still had discipline, when the society still had value, people wanted to get married because they wanted to have kids. Now, people have children without getting married. That's the birth of baby mama and baby papa. Now, because a lot of men can actually have children without getting married, that's the problem. Now, they've been able to find a solution. So you now see that a lot of men are not even getting married for the right reason. They just want to reproduce. And a lot of women want love. Now, how do you make this man get married for the right reason? Because having children is not the right reason to get married. The right reason is companionship. Mm -hmm. so, do you know that there are some men that never wanted marriage? But when they met a certain kind of woman, they desired marriage. Yes. When a man meets a beautiful woman and wants to date her, he doesn't want to marry her. He just wants to know her. When you are in a relationship, people want to know you. When they want to marry you, they want to keep you. They know you before they want to keep you. People cannot say they want to keep you when they have not known you. So that relationship is a knowing process. But the problem with a lot of young girls of our generation is that they are not going to relationship to do anything. When you get into relationship, what you're going there to do is go and have sex. You go and have sex in the morning, you cook for the man, you clean for the man. You don't do the basic things in relationship. You give the man all the wife material. There is nothing to long for. You don't give him a reason to want to get married. And the most powerful reason to make a man to want to get married is your communication skill. What do you talk about? Because you cannot give people reason and make people ready when you can't communicate. When you can't talk. It is communication that bets decision. It is when you talk to people, that is when they go back to their comfort zone and reason. What bets reasoning is communication. Just like the way every time you watch my video, and when you finish watching series of my videos, it gives you some kind of thoughts. There are some certain things you have never thought about before in your life, but when you listen to Blessing CEO, you, you start to say, hmm, really? Communication. And these things I teach you begins to form your decision. If you didn't want to do some certain things before and you listen to Blessing CEO and she touches a particular topic, it begins to make you reason. Oh, really? Oh, imagine if I begin to hit on that topic, hit on that topic, hit on that topic, and I'm able to convince you. You will change your decision. That's the power. Many women lack communication skills. They just go into relationships to go and have sex. And sex is everywhere. Sex is overrated. 
A man can buy sex. Sex is the cheapest thing you can give to a man. So you are having sex too much. You're not communicating. You're not giving this man reason to want to marry you. And it is those sex that you're having that is making you become a baby mama. That's what bets childbearing. When a man is having sex with you and he wants to tie it next and say, have a child for me. That's the reason why marriage these days is becoming a joke. It's because a lot of you women lack what is called communication skills. You don't know how to talk. You don't even know what you want. You don't even know how to decide. You don't even know where you're going. You don't know your left to your right. First of all, before you want a man to take you serious, you must have what is called a direction. Where are you going to? If you don't know where you are going to, how come you want to take a man along with you? You have your direction where you're going to before your destination and your location. Many of you don't have direction. That's why when you go to relationship, the only thing you're going there is to have sex morning, afternoon, and night. Because most of you actually think that sex keeps a man. No. Sex is not the way to a man's heart. Neither is it food. You are having too much sex in your relationship. That's why it's so difficult for a lot of men to decide to marry you. A lot of you women are giving this man sex. They see sex every day. So you can't use sex to trap a man. Now let me tell you something, women. Men are naturally keepers. Every man wants to get married. Because men naturally like to be in control. They like to own. They like to keep. They like to be in charge. Just like Adam. Adam was in charge of everything God created. They like it. But a lot of you women have not given them powerful reasons to want to bring you into their life. To want to keep you. To want to protect you. If you look at a lot of relationship, a lot of women are so concerned about cheating. Not because of the person, not because of the lack of attention. They are concerned about cheating because the only thing they are interested in is their boyfriend and their husband's manhood. The only thing you are interested in in your man is his manhood. So for every time your boyfriend or your man cheats, you are just interested in who he's sleeping with. You're not interested in who he's communicating with. You're not interested in other basic facts. Your own is who is he having sex with. And I've told you a couple of times before, it is not who your husband is sleeping with that you're supposed to be worried about. It's the person your husband is talking to. That's the difference between a girlfriend and a side chick. That's the difference between a girlfriend and a prostitute. When your husband pick up a random prostitute on the road, they just have sex. There's no communication. But when your husband begins to date another woman, the reason why he's tied to that woman is not sex. It's communication. You know, some people come and say it is juju. Mm -mm. If a woman have a powerful communication skill, she can trap any man. Sex is just an extra. Because sex is what you do for just a few moments. Communication is what you do for a long time. If we have 24 hours in a day, you talk more than you knock. You talk more than you have sexual intercourse. Yes. So it's not the sex. Sex can be gotten anywhere. But a lot of you women are so interested about sex. Who is your husband having sex with? Who is your husband making love to? You're not even concerned about who he's talking to. Am I doing the right thing? Am I? You're not interested. Most of you lack communication skills because society have molded a lot of women to believing that they are going to marriage to go and have sex. Society have molded you to believe that it's sex that keeps a man, that all a man desire is sex. Yes, men desire sex. They do. But you can't keep them with sex because sex can be gotten anywhere. So women, it's time for us to change those things that we do in our relationship. That is what is making a lot of men indecisive of marriage. So many men don't even know what marriage is about. Yes, they are scared. They only grow up to hear marriage. marriage. So on so many occasions, you're not going to blame the men for not wanting to get married. Do you know what a lot of men see on daily basis? Do you know how a lot of women have debased themselves? Do you know how a lot of women have cheapened themselves in the faces of men? A lot of men now have wrong impressions about women. Imagine a man getting a girl within a twinkle of an eye. Imagine a man being able to sleep with 10 girls in one day. Do you think he's going to be able to keep a man, a woman? Don't you think that anytime he has a woman, he will always think that, hmm, all these women, they are all like that. So it takes you to come into a relationship and prove yourself. A lot of women have spoiled the beauty of a woman. Before, women had so much value, but now women do not have value because the bad eggs have spoiled the good ones. So now when you get into a relationship, you have to prove yourself that you are different from those bad eggs. Because that is one of the challenges a lot of men have. They don't know which is which. Yes, 
because they understand what happens on the streets. These men know what they do with girls. So when any girl comes into your life, they grade you as the same thing. So that's why marriage is difficult for them because they feel that, hmm, I don't want to go and marry a slut. So as a woman, if you want a man to take you seriously, could you close your leg? Let's learn communication skills in relationship. It is your communication skills that bets the reason why a man will want to put you in the house. What do you talk about in that relationship? Is it every time you go to the man's house, you've dropped your bag, you've opened your legs. After opening your legs, you've gone into the kitchen, you have food for him. After cooking for him, you wash his clothes, you go and greet his mother. That's not what you're going to do in a relationship. In a relationship, you're going to know each other. And a lot of you are dating strangers. Many of you, are, many of you have been in a relationship for years and you don't even know who you're dating. I said what I said. You are dating strangers. The only thing you recognize very well is your boyfriend's manhood. You know the size of his manhood. You know the color of his manhood. But you don't even know the personality that you are dating. It's because the only thing you are interested in is sex. That's the reason why your boyfriends can do a lot of things to you and you will not notice. And that's the reason why you don't even see the red flag. You pretend like you don't even see the red flag. You need to pay attention to these people that you are dating. When you pay attention to the men you are dating, you will understand where they are coming from. You will understand their roots, their upbringing. Some men were not brought up well. Some men don't even have the values that you have as a woman. You are the one who is going to inculcate it in your man. When a man loves a woman, he tends to be a baby. Men are the softest being in the creation of this earth. They are the softest species. All you need is to massage their ego and they will fall to your feet just like the way Samson fell by Delilah's feet. All Delilah did was massage his ego and the strongest man in the Bible fell for Delilah like a baby. So I'm going to urge a lot of beautiful women who want to get married. We have a lot of work to do when it comes to marriage. Yes, so much work to do. A lot of people are going to say, Blessing, why is it always about women, women, women? Because it's a woman that holds a home. Women are keepers. Yes, it's our job. So when you find a man that you feel you want to spend the rest of your life with, and you people share a certain kind of emotion, you can make him marry you. Not by being forceful or by being desperate. Let's hear what you talk about. Your communication, your conversations. You can actually change a man's mindset by what you tell him. You don't even understand that our ears are important doorways to our hearts. When you are close to a man and the man have access to your body, it simply means he can listen to you. When you cook for a man and he has, you have access to his stomach, it simply means he can listen to you. But the fact is a lot of you women do not know how to talk. You're not talking about the right things. After sex, what are you talking about? After he finished eating, what are you talking about? When he's at home, what are you talking about? When he comes back from work, about to sleep, what do you guys talk about? Is it just about sex, 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 sex? Is it just about screaming through your man's phone? Anytime he comes back, you're fiddling through his phone. You want to know who he's having sex with. That's what most of you do in a relationship from year to year. You want to know who your boyfriend is sleeping with. You finally know who your boyfriend is sleeping with. Huh? Did you leave? You didn't leave. Most of you are looking for the worst part of a man. Most of you are looking for mistakes. When you go into a relationship, you're looking for people's mistakes to dig up. You don't want to see the better part of men. You don't want to see the good part of them. You don't want to bring out the best in them. You're just looking for the bad things that they have done and the ones that they will do. So 24 hours, you are digging. You are asking him, how many girls did you date in the past? How many people do you sleep with? What's up with your ex? All those things are in the past. When you come into people's life, all you need to do is bring out the best in them. It is their past that have molded them to who they are. When you come into their life, leave a footprint in their lives. That's what makes you a woman. Women are keepers, women are molders, women are collectors, they keep, they mold, they make. That's why we're powerful. But when you get into this, your relationship, you go there, all you are doing is sex, 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 sex. You're looking for who he's sexing, you're everything about you. It's, you know, society have also messed up with a lot of women that you just think that love is sex. Love is not sex. Sex is different from love. Love is a powerful emotion of kindness. Where you are concerned about somebody genuinely where you want somebody to grow genuinely. That's the meaning of love. Love is not going to dig up of mistake so that you can look for something to hold on to and talk. That's not love. Love is not screwing through people's phone to find out if they are cheating so that you can talk or so that you can live or so that you can nag. That's not love. Love is bringing out the best part of people. And a lot of you women have spent time to bring out the worst part. You are always digging. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? 
some of you women find spend time finding out the bad in people you are just looking for the negative things in people that's what a lot of you women do in relationship when you get into a man's life you are just looking for something you are always looking for something you never bring in something you never create something you are just looking for something to hold on to that's the reason why it's so difficult for a lot of men to make this decision of marriage every man wants to get married trust me every man wants a woman that he can love every man wants a woman he can keep he can protect some men when you, they don't even find a woman to marry you see that they channel this protection and this love to their mothers and to their sisters a man always look for a woman he wants to protect that's how they are built it is natural men are born to protect but society have messed up a lot of men's head there's no reason for them to want to get married you have given them the cookie so free everything that you're supposed to give in marriage you're giving it a relationship the basic things you're supposed to give in relationship you're not giving it you don't want to build relationship but when you get married to this person you are begging for a relationship everything you say you don't want to do in relationship when you get to marriage that's what you are begging for you don't want attention just marry me i don't want to don't marry me just marry me i don't want to waste my time i just want marriage the person finally marries you and you enter into the marriage everything you refused in a relationship that's what you are begging your husband to give you attention stay with me talk to me just with me but this was what the man wanted to do to you in the relationship he said no marry me it's because a lot of you don't know how to build a lot of you don't know how to communicate there is no difference between relationship and marriage the difference between relationship and marriage is just commitment the fact that somebody gives you an assurance and when people give you an assurance that's when you invest that's where you give your all and that's why i said in relationship don't give your all because the person has not given you some sort of assurance so there's no need of investing where you have not seen um assurance even in businesses these days before somebody gives you a huge amount of money you are going to sign something what is making them invest 20 100 million 500 million inside of you is what you signed without signature nobody is investing 100 million inside of you they can just give you maybe 200,000, 300,000. So if you want people to invest huge in you, you need to give them some sort of assurance. That's the meaning of marriage. So what you're going to show people in relationship are your potentials, are the things, the small, small things you're capable of doing. You're not going to give them all your cookie. No. Let them long for you. People will see the things that you can do before they want to work with you. Before a business wants to endorse you, they have seen your capability. Before they say, okay, I want to work with this person. You don't give people your all when they have not given you some sort of assurance and you are the one that is going to prove to people to want to come and invest in you before an investor wants to put his money in you there is something you are doing people don't just see you walking on the street without you doing anything and they want to come and give you 100 million there is a small small thing you have been doing that they have seen and they said okay if we put in money in this thing this person is going to blow that's investment so i'm asking i am asking you again have you invested in yourself have you made yourself what investing in have you built yourself? Do you have something that is going to attract people to want to come and add to the things that you have built? And that's the reason why whenever I talk about self-awareness, whenever, whenever I talk about independence, whenever I talk about value, it's underrated. You want so much from a man. You want a man to love you. You want a man to do this. What about you? What is going to attract this man is the small, small things you've put into yourself. Build your communication skills as a woman. Build your value. That is what will make a man to say, I want to keep this woman in the house. I want to marry her. Because when she comes into my life, she's going to add. She's not going to drain me. Some of you just want marriage for nothing. You just want to go into a man's life and just go and sap him. Because society have told you to marry. A lot of you are not marrying because you even know what marriage is about. You're not even going to give a man anything. And that's the reason why when a lot of you women marry, the only thing you go to a marriage to go and is to be stressing a man up and down. Many of you women are stressed. It's because you did not even understand what marriage was about, first of all. So when you get into the marriage and you don't have anything to give the man, you'll be stressing the man. Because you are jobless, because you don't have an initiative, because you don't reason. A lot of you women that are in marriage don't have anything to offer. You're not reasoning. That's the reason why you are idle. That's the reason why 24 hours you want to scroll through your husband's face. Because your minds are not busy. It's because you're not creative. It's because you're not industrial. Because if you have something productive, keeping your mind busy, you will not have time to be feeling through your husband's phone or through your boyfriend's phone. It's because people get into this relationship with the wrong mindset. You go there and you become a liability to somebody. You go there and you begin to punish a man. That's what a lot of you do. All you want is marriage, 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 marriage. You become so desperate. You desire something that you don't know anything about. When you desire this thing and you don't know how to use it, this thing will become useless to you. I can make money with this iPhone 13, but some of you are holding this iPhone 13. You've not made one hour out of it. But I'm using the same phone like you. Right? So that's the difference between you and I. So you need to pay attention.
You need to pay attention and open up your eyes. It is not about wanting something. The question is, what are you doing with that thing that you want? Can you use it? That's the reason why you will look at other people and you're envying them. They are doing the same thing that you are doing. But you don't know how to use the things that you want. You want marriage, you want marriage. What are you going to do in the marriage? You're not going there to do anything. Learn communication skills. Improve yourself. Grow yourself. Invest in yourself. So that when a man is coming into your life, he's coming to add. He's coming to invest. He's coming to put in something. So even if this man decides to leave you tomorrow, there is something inside of you. A lot of you are shattered when a man leaves you because there is nothing that you have. But when you have something, it simply means you are the owner. People are just coming to add to it. So whether they remove their addition, whether they subtract what they added, you are still who you are. That's all I'm appealing to a lot of beautiful women. It's not about getting married. It's about staying married. That's the most important thing. So I'm going to urge a lot of women. Build yourself. Build yourself. Give a man a very powerful reason to invest in you. To make a man marry you is very easy. Very, very easy. Yes, even a playboy wants to settle down. You've not seen when a player will say, Hey, I used to be a player, but I finally seen somebody I love. Yes. So there is no man out there that don't want to settle down. It's just that you women are the ones that keep giving them different reasons not to settle down because you give them these things very cheap. When you go to relationship, you think that, oh, when I have sex with this man, I'll keep him. No, 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 no. You cannot even have sex. I don't think you can even have sex more than the strippers and the prostitutes. I don't think you can even have sex more than the professional. If it's about sex, then a lot of prostitutes will be married because that is their job. If it is sex that actually keep this man, ah, ah, we will not even see husband and marry. So it's not the sex. It's your inner skills. It's the things that you have bestowed inside of you. Don't forget that the things that you know is what you will teach your children. When you don't know anything, what do you want to teach your children? That's the reason why it is very easy for, me, for a lot of your children to be influenced. Because a lot of you don't have anything to teach them. That's why your children have unanswered questions. Because your, you cannot answer these questions that your children ask you. That's the difference between some of us that are smarter and people that are not smart. It's what you know that you teach your children. That's the meaning of knowledge is power. The reason why you want to inculcate so much value into yourself is because you want to have things to teach people. If we're talking about building your family, building your children, build, what do you want to teach? What do you want to build when you don't even understand or you don't even know where to buy materials? You don't even know the materials it takes to build a house. So how do you want to start? So that's the reason why no knowledge is a waste. You are learning all the skills so that when you have children, there'll be something you can build. Some of us were damaged because our parents did not know anything. If not because of social media right now and Google, we are learning some certain things. Our parents didn't teach us a lot of things. We have so many unanswered questions that our parents could not answer. We are so lucky now that we have people like you and I who are able to come and talk. People who can, you know, communicate. In those days, they didn't have any blessing CEO or relationship therapy that want to teach you anything about relationship. It is only the ones that your parents teach you that you follow. And that's the reason why a lot of us have very static mindset. And that's the reason why we are here to help you unlearn and relearn. It's because most of you have all those archaic things that your parents taught you that is not working. So that's the reason why we unlearn it, relearn it. The reason why we are inculcating these things in us is so that we can have basic things we can teach our children. We can make our children strong will. Because you cannot give your children what you don't know. Except the smart children who are wise enough to go and learn from other people, just like the way you are watching me. It is not everything that I know that my parents taught me. There are some things I learned from other people. So please, beautiful women, let's inculcate so much in ourselves. Don't forget that I love you guys and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to bring you guys more educating, intellectual and entertaining relationship on marital team. I love you guys.